Hotwood Hall College, in partnership with Manchester City Football Club and City and the Community, is offering a new Level 3 BTEC Extended Diploma in Sport and Football course. The course will be delivered at the Etihad Stadium in their state-of-the-art teaching and training facilities. The course focuses on a variety of different topics. We've got anatomy and physiology, which is all about the body. You've got sports coaching, obviously, uh, leadership, but then it diversifies into sports nutrition, uh, psychology of sport, uh, talent ID and performance analysis. We coach the lads and the girls three days a week, so we do Mondays, Tuesdays, uh, Thursday mornings, um, two hour sessions, 9.30 to 11.30. Um, it's all football based, but it's uh, all to a sort of similar to in the classroom, it's all to a perspect uh, perspectus. So we've got passing, turning, shooting, whatever the team needs to work on, um, we'll work on that throughout the course of the week. Ah! And, uh, every morning you get to train, it's a great atmosphere with the coaches and the lads, the band is good. And you improve football a lot, so we're definitely training. I think it's fair to say that the best facility is in Europe, so uh, we, literally anything that you can think of that we have uh, is available for use. You've only got to look behind us uh, to see the, the facilities that we're using today. Uh, yesterday we went in and used the, uh, the indoor dome, which is the facilities that Patrick Vieira uses with the, with the under-21s and the, we use the equipment that the first team used. So facility-wise it's absolutely top-end, there's, there's nowhere better for, for anything like that. Like, the change rooms and the showers are better than any other. Can't take the ground really. Amazing, it's amazing. Like, and you get to see all the facilities and the best. Uh, you got players that you can see around you. They're, you can tell that they're enjoying it. So it just makes you want to go on and achieve what they're achieving. So facilities you can't complain about. It's amazing. Probably the best facilities in the world, football-wise. Um, Two hundred million pound, I think, you spend on it, and you get to use it three times a week, four even if you have a game. Yes, John. Yes, Con. The course is also available to girls, continuing the rapid growth of women's football in the UK. Now you've seen it like World Cup and stuff like that going on. I guess it gets you more into it because it's more on the TV and there's more of advertisement, so it makes you more aware of what's going on in the football community. I mean, we've had women players. They've seen the girls have seen the women players have been training. So I think a couple of our players play for the city girls anyway, under 17s. So um, yeah, they're looking to them a lot. So you've got, uh, like I said, you see the players knocking around. So when you see them uh, training and the youth squad and everything, you just think, oh, well, that could be me if uh, I push myself. So it really gives you that uh, sense of ambition to want to go and do that. That would have been fantastic in terms of the educational side of things um, and we work really closely together so in terms of meetings we meet once a week um, with the tutors from Popwood to discuss the learners, how they're getting on not only on the pitch but also in the classroom. Students on this course can expect to receive up to 14 hours per week of quality coaching and training whilst also working towards accredited further education qualifications. You don't have to be a like where or a Vincent company, you've just got to come down, um, be able to play, get on with the, the lads and the coaches that are involved in the in the groups and um, ensure that obviously your grades are at the, at the right areas because for us really the main the main side of it is the, is the educational side, that's the whole point of the course. This course has been developed to meet the expanding employment opportunities within the sports industry. A lot of students want to go to university um, to specialise and forge a career that way. Um, but some students are actually gaining careers as sports coaches, sports development officers, um, teaching assistants. So there's a wide variety of what we, what you go on to. We're setting up a foundation degree course um, for people that have done this course on outside uh, people. So that's, I'm hoping to get on that one, so I'm hoping to become a coach or uh, get involved with football in that way with the club. Who wins at it? No. Oh my day! Oh my day! Before I started, I wanted to become a professional, but I thought, well, there's no chance, so I never really pursued it. But now I started here, I'm doing the trials and doing for City, so hopefully I'll get to there. It's like, if you join it, you've got more chance of getting it because you can more around here. We offer the guys volunteer hours, so they come along, do a little bit of volunteering, maybe go out and get the coaching badges, um, and hopefully develop a career in sport for them. Anyone interested in doing sport or in football, uh, definitely mention this course.